Thank you, thank you, Chair. Uh, leader, I would like to speak about juvenile crime. And, <laughs> and <laughs> colleagues, please. <laughs> Senator Butler, without interruption. Thank you, thank you. Uh, leader, I would like to speak about juvenile uh, crime and young offenders under 15 years of age. We've had a spate of crime in our area. We've had uh, gangs going round. We have seen in the, in the papers there recently where 3,500 juvenile uh, cases haven't been investigated. And we've seen in my area crimes such, in, such as robbing shops, intimidation, fighting on streets, and elderly people being terrified. And I had a lady in the bank in uh, Trim there on Friday in the AIB tell me that her son was at a juvenile disco and he was bet up and he was, the guards told basically his family to keep him at home, not to send him to the disco anymore. And for them people to report it to the guards, they were threatened by their house going to be burnt down. And we've seen that the ASBOs are not working. I know of young offenders that are going around with 11 and 12 ASBOs to their names. And basically, the guards' hands are tied. They can do absolutely nothing. So I see the only way forward is that the parents be made more accountable. Because you cannot let young people roam streets at night, intimidate people, attack people. We've had it in the Trim area and in the South Mead area where people have been attacked at cash machines. We had a young man that had his nose broken on Patrick's Day at a cash machine because of juvenile offenders. So I want to see the Minister, Charlie Flanagan, come in here today and we look at new legislation for young offenders.